I'm in yellow. I'm a traffic cone, but hey, at least uh, at least you can't see my my shoulders and and um, you know my side and everything because they're camouflaged. Okay, so <laughs> so I get this question a lot um, since putting up uh, that video right there. Where is that right? No, that video right there. <laughs> I never can because the camera's backwards. So that video right there, I put up that video right there and um, about a sale on the MD UV380 that I'm doing. And it uh, went really well because I've sold three quarters of all of them and there's a few left. So if you want to go up there, click on that, go watch that video, get the $20 coupon discount code. And also go to the website, grapevineamateurradio.com. I got a few... Um, MD 9600s in. Cleaning out my stock here. It's going away. Eventually it'll all be gone, but as time progresses, I'm cleaning out the stock, so this that's why there's so few of them. So the TYT MD UV380 with the new FCC regulations, I assume this is what brought this about. With the new FCC regulations, they have locked this thing down. I got, I've been getting, uh, I've been getting emails and YouTube comments uh, from that video that you just that was just there and from a couple other places that says that this radio is not functional it's locked down um, when you boot it up it comes up as a uh, 450 megahertz on the top and um, 150 megahertz on the bottom which are not in the amateur band anyway well the 450 is at the very top of the 70 center, centimeter amateur band. 150 is totally out of the amateur radio band. So I don't know why they did it that way. But here's how you get around that. It's not broken. It's fine. It is working as designed. <laughs> now, some of this is on assumption because I haven't actually talked to TYT about this because they're all on Chinese holiday right now. They won't be back in the office until February 15th. It's about a week. This video is being recorded about a week before that. So I think that the reason they did that is to um, assimilate themselves to the new FCC regulations regarding out-of-band transmissions for Chinese radios coming into the United States. Okay. If that's not the reason they did it, then I have no freaking clue why they did it. So there's two there's two things you can do. This radio right here is on firmware. I'm going to go down here. Radio info versions. This radio right here is on firmware version 18.003, which is what it says on the screen when you download it from their website. It's actually 18.03. So this version and later, I suspect, will all be the same. This should apply. So what you'll notice is that you will put a code plug into... Yeah, as I said, it, it, it comes up on the screen as 450 and 150. And when you change the channels, there's four or five pre-programmed channels in it. it. They're all set to that, that same frequency. So when you shoot your code plug into it, the stuff will come up on the screen correctly with whatever you've named your zone and whatever you've named your code plugs. But you'll notice that when you key up, you don't seem to be hitting anything. So what you do is you go in, if, if you go into utilities and then to program radio and then hit enter and it asks for a password and the password is the number nine eight times. You come up and you check the RX and TX frequency. It'll always be 450.0000 for a 440 channel for a 70 centimeter channel. And it'll always be 150.000 for a two-meter channel. So this is what they've locked down. Uh, again, I'm guessing, because I don't know for sure why they did this. I'll find out later. But here's how you get around it. Power the unit off. These two buttons on the side, one above and one below the PTT button, hold those down. Power the unit on. Once it gets through the boot menu. Now... You're on actual... Well, you know what? <laughs> okay. So I was testing this offline. And that was going to be my next thing. Okay. So, actually, I just put it back into locked mode. Because I was playing with it before I started the camera. So now it's back on 450. So, like... Um, okay, let me show you. Because... Just, just show you what it looks like. 
See, I've got this analog channel as 443-8750. You can see it on the bottom, uh, the bottom of the zone, the sub, ch the lower channel. That's for that's that's what I've named the channel. Okay. So if I go into menu, utilities, program radio, enter my password. There we go. RX frequency. 450.0s. Okay? So now, and I just locked it because I unlocked it before I started the camera. So now, I power it off, hold down these two side buttons again, one above, one below the PTT, power it back on, wait for it to get to the, through the boot menu, let go of it, and now it should be correct. KC5 HWB testing. Which is the, it's keying the repeater. You can go back into the menu, go through utilities, program radio, enter your password, go into RX and TX frequency, you can see your frequencies are there. That is how you get around that, okay? Again, don't know the reason for it, but that is, that is the thing. Firmware updates, 18.0 or later. Um, if you're watching this video a couple months from now, six months from now, having the same issue, and you're like, well, I've got version 19-something uh, or 20-something or whatever, so that does, it's probably going to be everything after, I'm guessing, it's going to be everything after 18.03 because I'm guessing that the reason they did this was because of the new FCC regulations to lock out people from outside of the amateur radio band, which doesn't make sense because 150 megahertz is not in the amateur radio band. That's my opinion. If you enjoy these videos, guys, uh, go, um, I'm starting a new... Club. I don't know what to call. I'm not. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But it's going to be an annual club, ninety nine dollars a year. Um, I'll be offering sixty nine dollars uh, discounts of six, down to sixty nine dollars for veterans and students for just um, private one on one videos. Uh, private videos and actually what we're going to do is start out conference calls so right now i just have it up on patreon if you go to my page patreon.com forward slash ham radio you'll see on the right hand side you'll see all the tiers tier one tier two tier three of how you can uh, sign up and support my show all the ones that are on the tier of eight dollars and 25 cents per month which eight twenty five a month times 12 months in the year equals 99 dollars all of those tiers will be given access to, given an invitation to a private Zoom call that'll be me and everybody else on there. And we'll sit down and we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about in amateur radio. Guess what? Knowledge sharing is, is an important part of amateur radio. So go to patreon.com forward slash ham radio. You can sign up there. You can get invited to an exclusive monthly Zoom call, monthly video conferencing call through an app I've been using called Zoom. Uh, where we can just sit down and talk about amateur radio. And eventually I want to grow that into some sort of club. Ham Radio 2.0 club. I don't know what to call it yet. So anyway, 73 guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you with the latest firmware updates for the TYT MD UV380 in 2019. Catch you next time.